So this is the easiest meal prep that I have ever done for a full week of fully prepped meals. I made all of this in just under an hour and I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it from start to finish. So I used to put together weight loss meal prep plans for you guys all the time and I haven't done that in a really, really long time. So I'm doing that today. This is a week of prep for four or five days, so a full work week, and it's really customizable. I'm gonna show you how to customize it to get anywhere from 1,200 to 1,800 calories and make it work for you. But yeah, you probably just wanna know what we're gonna be eating. <laughs> it's the most important thing. Some of my favorite meals right now, so I'm excited to eat them this week. For breakfast, we're having mocha overnight oats. For lunch, a little Mediterranean inspired chickpea salad. For dinner, the easiest roasted chicken and potatoes that I know how to make. We're also prepping a quick snack, a strawberry pineapple smoothie that's pretty high protein. And by the way, if you ate all of this, you'd be getting almost 100 grams of protein for the day. It's a high protein meal plan. Everything's dairy free and gluten free. And I will let you know how to make this one thing vegan. Everything else is already plant based. Now that is what we're gonna be having this week. First we're prepping a big batch of mocha overnight oats, so I've got a mixing bowl here and we're just throwing a few things together for this. Starting with two cups of rolled oats, then adding eight teaspoons of chia seeds, eight teaspoons of brown sugar, I know that sounds like a lot but we're prepping for multiple servings here, four teaspoons of instant coffee powder, four teaspoons of cocoa powder, a quarter cup of almond butter and three cups of milk. Any milk works but I use an unsweetened soy milk because it's dairy free, it's high protein and it's nice and creamy and just mixing it up. Yeah, we're basically done. Just serving it out into some little containers. And now we are just adding a little topping, a little bit of dark chocolate. Oh, okay. Three second rule. I've included a little chocolate topping in the calories, because why not? Two pieces of dark chocolate in total. So I'm just adding a little bit onto each one. And it's breakfast ready, mocha overnight oats. Um, oh, what is that? That is chocolate on my arm. Oh, chocolate all over me. <laughs> if you want a different flavor other than this one, my video that I shared before this one was overnight oats meal prep and I shared three more flavors of overnight oats that are perfect for meal prep. So go check that out if you want some more flavors. So I'm just gonna throw this in the fridge really quickly. I'm gonna get the oven preheated and while the oven is preheating, we're gonna throw together the snack which we're meal prepping for this week. And it's another really quick one. I'm preheating the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 218 degrees Celsius. And I'm adding a baking tray to the oven to preheat at the same time. This is important, don't skip it. This is how I get crispy roasted potatoes in 30 minutes, you'll see. If you like this kind of food, this smoothie is actually for my four week weight loss meal prep plan. I'll link it below. But yeah, let's just get the snack prepped. We can do it in 10 minutes while the oven preheats. To my blender, I'm adding about two cups of frozen pineapple. I mean, it's supposed to be two cups. <laughs> I accidentally dropped some extra in there. About four cups of frozen strawberries, two scoops of vanilla protein powder. I use a vegan one, I'll link it below, it's my favorite. Two cups of plain yogurt. I use a dairy-free coconut one, but any plain yogurt will work. About one cup of water and then one cup of ice. And just blend it up. That is a thick smoothie. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Amazing. And that is how quick the snack is. So the oven is just done preheating. I'm gonna cover these quick and get Panting behind me, there's a suddenly a big storm. It's okay, baby. Oh, she's shaking. It's okay. I'm scared of the storm. Okay, I'm gonna cover these quick and then I'm going to get my dinner in the oven. It's gonna be very easy. There's suddenly a huge storm, so just bear with me while my dogs are running around. <laughs> They're a bit scared of the storm and it's gotten really dark, but we're just gonna keep going. Okay, for this part, we're either using chicken or tofu. Some green beans, bell pepper, and onion. 
and some potatoes. To get dinner started, I'm rinsing about 500 grams of potatoes and slicing them in half. It's gonna make them cook much faster. Getting that heated baking tray out the oven, careful, it's really hot. Spraying the tray with some oil, and then when the potatoes are on the tray, I'll just give them another quick spray. And I'm just adding some very simple flavorings, some salt and pepper, and also some onion powder. And I like to face all of them down to get them really crispy on that side. It takes less than five minutes to prep the potatoes, it's very quick. And just getting them in the oven and setting the timer for 30 minutes and then they'll be ready. Just washing some vegetables. Got about 400 grams of green beans, one medium green bell pepper, and also an onion. Cutting that up first, but I'm saving a quarter of the onion for the salad we're gonna prep next, so I'm just setting that aside for now. And chopping the other three quarters of the onion into some long, thin strips, just very rough. Also slicing the green bell pepper into some long, thin strips. The green beans don't need any prep in terms of chopping, just one of the reasons that I love them. And just adding all of that to a baking tray with a quick spray of oil, some pepper, some salt, and just giving it all a toss. Okay, for this part, we're either using chicken or tofu. I'm using 500 grams of chicken breast meat here, but you can also use about 800 grams of firm tofu for a vegan option. That's usually like two packs and just slice it up before. To that, I'm adding about a tablespoon of oil. And for the flavor, we're using smoked paprika. It's the secret ingredient in this roasted chicken. It is full of flavor and it's basically no calories. It's a great low calorie option. And also adding some salt and pepper, just getting the chicken tossed in the oil and the spices and adding a little bit more on the other side. And I'm moving the potatoes to the bottom shelf of the oven. They've been in there for about 10 minutes and getting the chicken and the vegetables on the top shelf. And oh my gosh, I forgot to add some of the spices to the chicken. Okay, so let's just, just adding some onion powder and some oregano really quickly, tossing that up and getting it back in the oven. While the chicken, the potatoes, and the vegetables are still cooking in the oven, we are gonna throw together the very last thing, which is a Mediterranean chickpea salad. It's very, very quick to make. We're basically just chopping up a bunch of things, throwing it together, and that's our lunch. It's very tasty though. Um, yeah, so just gonna get right onto that. And it's our last thing. Starting with some chickpeas, of course. Opening two cans of chickpeas, draining and rinsing them, and then chopping up some vegetables. Got about 300 grams of baby tomatoes. You can leave these whole, it's quicker. I like halving them though. One whole cucumber. I like to cut it into some big pieces just to help it to keep better. One medium red bell pepper, cutting that into some small little pieces. Some fresh cilantro, about half a cup chopped up. You can also use fresh parsley, both work. And then got that quarter of an onion that I kept aside, just chopping that up to some tiny little pieces. I'm getting the job done. I'm not a professional onion chopper. Getting all of that into a salad bowl and adding about 150 grams of feta cheese. I actually use a dairy-free one, but either vegan or regular works, that's both fine. Getting those rinsed chickpeas in. They add a lot of protein and also a lot of fiber. And then just a few simple things for flavor. Three tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon of white wine vinegar, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, a teaspoon of sweetener to balance out the sour flavors. I use maple syrup, I know that sounds random, but any sugar or syrup is fine. About a tablespoon of lemon juice, I just catch the seeds in my hand, and some salt and pepper. The salad is about 15 minutes to chop up and put together, so it's the same amount of time as the vegetables need to roast in the oven. Oh yeah, last thing prepped. Woohoo! Okay, so we're gonna serve this out quick, then get the oven things out, and then we're done. I will be linking all the containers that I'm using below in the description box just if you want to see the sizes I'm using and everything. In the fridge. Here we go. Oh yeah. That is looking good. And I'm just going to flip these chickens quickly. I'm just going to give the chicken a few more minutes and then get the chicken and the potatoes out at the same time. Perfect roasted potatoes. 30 minutes. Let me give you a little close up of this juicy roasted food. Roasted chicken. Mm -mm -mm. Perfect roasted vegetables. And then come over here. Crispy potatoes. Mm-mm-mm. Ta-da! <laughs> I cannot wait to eat all of this. I'm just gonna serve this out and then we are done. Okay, I can hit on myself here.
I'm just making four portions for each meal as you've seen so just serving the potatoes the chicken and the vegetables all between four containers here and by the way if you want to make five days of prep for everything instead of four days I'll have those ingredient amounts on my blog for you because the ingredient amounts are going to be different I'll also have the ingredient amounts for four days worth of prep on my blog for you so that's exactly what I've shown you in this video that's all going to be linked below for you as well as a grocery shopping list for everything but yeah that is dinner it's so so simple so flavorful it's the easiest roasted chicken and potatoes that i know how to make also really nice roasted vegetables just something that i don't get bored of for multiple days very very good there's no sauce with this it's actually really good just like this but if you do want to add a little bit of sauce i suggest a little bit of hot sauce i like nando sauce this is my favorite one it's amazing but you can also use sriracha tabasco anything i usually just add a little bit when i serve it out but you can just put a little bit in the container if you want as well. So I have prepped four servings of everything, but I'm probably gonna eat it over five days and then just throw in a little bit of toast here and there with a random topping. That's what I like to do sometimes. So that's what I'm gonna do this week. But right now I'm gonna show you how to customize all of these calories whether you want 1,200 to 1,800 calories because we're all different. We all need different calories. I always say that, but it's true. Um, so I'm gonna show you that now. Okay, so how to customize the calories of this meal plan. This will be very quick, it's very, very simple. So all the meals that I showed you are roughly 400 calories, all the breakfast, lunches, and dinners. And the snack that I showed you is roughly 200 calories. So it's very, very easy to mix and match all the snacks and meals to get however many calories you want per day. And it works perfectly with my point system if you use my beautiful body guide. I'll link a video about that below if you don't know what I'm talking about. So for 1,200 calories per day, you can have the breakfast, the lunch, and the dinner, and then just leave out the snacks that's less prep work for you for 1400 calories per day you can have everything i prepped in this video the breakfast the lunch the dinner and the snacks for 1600 calories per day you can have everything i prepped in this video the breakfast the lunch the dinner and the snacks and then just double up the smoothie portion each day to make a 400 calorie smoothie instead of a 200 calorie smoothie or instead of that you can just throw in another 200 calorie snack each day so you know a lot of snack bars that you can buy in the stores are roughly 200 calories so that's just an idea of a 200 calorie snack for you and then for 1800 calories you can have everything i prepped in this video the breakfast the lunch the dinner and the snacks and then just double up the dinner portion each day to make an 800 calorie dinner instead of a 400 calorie dinner or instead of that you can just add another 400 calorie snack each day that could be like two slices of toast with two tablespoons of peanut butter on top that's a really great 400 calorie snack it's very very quick and easy it's something that i end up eating most days and i really hope that helps with the customizing i will see you in the next video